Beijing just went next-level sci-fi. A brand new 5-foot 5-inch humanoid is about to host the world's first Olympic venue football match. Between fully autonomous robots, there's now a mega robot mall selling everything from mechanical butlers to Einstein lookalikes. And in California, a drone just got its brain built by another robot, 20 times faster than any human could. Buckle up, because the future just hit turbo mode. Let's start with the headline, Grabber. Limex Dynamics just unveiled their flagship humanoid, the Limex Oi. This isn't some rehashed prototype. It's the evolution of their December 2023 CL1 model. But now we've got a full-sized, ready-to-work platform. Standing 1.65 meters tall, that's 5 feet 5, and heavier than most humanoids in development right now, it packs an insane 31 active degrees of freedom. And that's not even counting the end effectors. The CL1 was more of a research biped. No functional hands, not much use in real-world tasks. The OI changes that. It has a fully modular hardware and software design. Developers can swap out parts without redesigning the whole robot. Two finger grippers? Easy. Full five finger dexterity? Plug it in. Third party peripherals like extra cameras, microphones, tactile sensors, IMUS, or LIDAR. No problem. All of it connects through clean, well defined interfaces. No messy hacks. They're offering three editions light, edu, and super, tailored for everything from training and validating AI perception algorithms to full-scale, human-robot interaction in real environments. The Open SDK is where things get spicy. Developers can access full-body state, all sensor data, joint-level control, and task orchestration, perfect for teleoperation systems or imitation learning pipelines. It's designed for fast build-test-deploy cycles. No rewriting core architecture. OI combines cloud-based APIs with local control in one unified environment. Motion libraries and control modules can be updated over the air. Want to push custom logic without touching the robot? Done. Plus, it supports onboard large language models for natural conversation and multi-stream sensor fusion for next-level planning and embodied reasoning. The public debut? Happening this week at the World Robot Conference in Beijing. Right alongside something massive, the first ever World Humanoid Robot Games. From August 14th to 17th, at Beijing's National Speed Skating Oval, 280 teams from 16 countries will bring over 500 humanoids from 127 brands, all competing across 26 disciplines and 538 events in just three days. Morning and afternoon sessions packed with action. Headlining the games. The world's first fully autonomous 5 versus 5 humanoid football match. 10 robots, zero human control, all AI-driven. We're talking swarm intelligence and real-time collaborative decision-making in an actual Olympic venue. This comes after a trial match where Tsinghua University's THU Robotics team beat China Agricultural University's Mountain Sea team 5-3 in a 3 versus 3 format, marking China's first real autonomous humanoid football competition. But football is just the start. There's a humanoid 100-meter dash with 90 teams fighting for the fastest robot title, a half-marathon showcase featuring the top six finishers from April, and freestyle combat, drawing in Olympic medalists like judo gold winner Yan Shuli, swimmer Zhang Lin, and synchronized swimming silver medalist Chang, teaming up with robot squads. Part of the legacy of this event is the Panda Eye Stadium the first professional humanoid football arena. Its geodesic dome design regulates temperature, humidity, and cleanliness to lab-grade standards, while still letting in sunlight, moonlight, and even starlight. While the competitions heat up, Beijing is also pushing hard on the consumer robotics front. Enter the Robot Mall, the robotics world's version of a luxury car dealership. Over 100 types of robots are on sale here, from $278 basics to multi-million dollar high-end systems. You can interact with robot dogs, play chess with androids, or order food from a robot chef in the next door themed restaurant. It's backed by $20 billion in subsidies over the past year, 
with a 1 trillion yuan fund planned for AI and robotic startups.